Let's work an example now. Here we have a problem that says find the amount that results from this investment. We have $700 invested at 6% compounded daily after a period of two years. Okay, this compounded daily, this is what's telling us which formula that we're going to use. So that's telling us that we're going to be using the A equals P times 1 plus R over N to the NT power. Now, if we can label out each one of our pieces, it will make this problem much easier to deal with. So what I like to do is I like to come out to the side and I write every single one of my variables, oops, and then I label each one of them and then plug it into the formula. So let's see what each piece is. Here we have $700 that we're going to invest. That means this is our principal amount, the amount we're starting with. At 6%, this is our interest rate. Now remember, interest rate has to be written in decimal form, so that means we have to move our decimal over two places. Compounded daily. This is the, talking about the N, or the number of compounding periods per year. There are 365 days in a year, so our N would be 365 after a period of two years. So this is our time frame in years would be two. This means that the only thing we don't know is the amount after time. Now you always want to make sure that that you know truly represents what you're being asked. If we have seven hundred dollars invested at six percent compounded daily after a period of two years, we're supposed to be finding the amount that results from that investment. We're supposed to be finding that amount after time, which is exactly the variable we don't have, so we have everything correct. All right, so let's go ahead and let's put in what we have. We have A equals, instead of P, we're going to put in 700 times 1 plus our R is 0 0.06 divided by our n, which is 365, raised to the nt power. So that would be 365 times 2. Now this is our exponent, so we want to make sure and put that in parentheses so we can keep that together in the calculator. All right, now the cool thing is, is that once we have this listed out, this just becomes a calculator problem. So we want to make sure and enter this in exactly as we see it in our calculator. So let me go to the calculator screen. And I'm going to, let's quit out of here. I'm going to type this in exactly as I see it. So that would be 700, and then open parentheses, 1 plus. Now you can, you don't have to, you know, sometimes you want to put, um, fractions in parentheses. In this case, it won't make any difference. The order of operations will work out correctly. So it'd be 0 0.06 divided by 365, and then close the parentheses, and then raise to the, now our exponent, we want to be 365 times 2, and close the parentheses. It's very important that we put that exponent in parentheses so we keep that together. Now we hit enter, and the amount after time would be $789.24.